Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. First aid is another one of those videos that usually doesn't get a lot of views, just like water and water purification. Seems like the basics. <laughs> no one wants to watch videos on this stuff anymore. But I'm putting together uh, personal first aid kits, and I think I'm going to be putting these in a vehicle. Uh, I'm going to put make one for my wife's vehicle and make one for my vehicle. And I have one other container like this, and I'm probably going to keep that in the garage area so I don't have to keep going in my bug out bag or my main first aid kit to get supplies out. So this container that you see before you, um, actually, this is, uh, this is a container that was on clearance. Uh, Radio Shacks are going out of the business here in our area right now. Uh, a lot of them have already gone out of business. One store is a little bit later than the rest. And I was in there last week or so. And they had these boxes uh, for $1.49 a piece. Uh, now they're not water resistant or waterproof or anything. But they do have um, dividers. Which uh, I don't have the other extra dividers yet. And this is by all means not a blowout kit, anything like that. This is just something to keep in the vehicle. Now that my son's around two years old, uh, running around, uh, I'm seeing that uh, bruises, bump, bumps, and scrapes are becoming pretty common. And anyway, so um, I bought a few of these, and right now I have uh, these tubes in here, and they take up a lot of room. And I want to remove these, and I just went on Amazon, and I bought the packets. So I got 144 triple antibiotic single use packets and these are all foil packets. And I'm going to put links below to all this guys uh, and I did some math here and I just want to talk about the cost of these. Okay so the triple antibiotic this was $15.49 for 144 of these packets single use packets. And that breaks down to 11 cents a packet, give or take, right? So I thought that was a good deal. Expiration on these, 11 2017, so I'm getting two years expiration out of them. I will use all these after the expired. Uh, I, I kind of treat this like food expiration. Uh, that's the only that the manufacturer can guarantee the potency of it, but I'm sure it'll still have value even after expired. I'm sure I'm not going to use 144. Uh, packets in two years. At least I hope not. Okay, the next thing I got was first aid burn cream packets. Okay, um, and I really got this for like the burn cream part of it. This, uh, this is 60 packets, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 60, 60 packets uh, in here. And that was Sorry guys, I'm looking on my phone. I put all this information in my phone. Burn cream, $8.36. Um, that breaks down to about 14 cents a packet on these. Okay? And the last thing I got for the first aid kit is hydrozo uh, hydrocortisone cream packets. I can only find 25. Um, now, I think I found it in larger... Um, I think I found it in larger quantities, but the, the packets were paper, not foil. And I want foil packets. Um, I just think they're a little bit more resistant to puncture. Um, and actually, sometimes I will carry one of these uh, type packets in my wallet, and I don't want it to leak. So I wanted foil packets. So 25 packets of the cortisone cream came out to five dollars and two cents uh, for 25 packets so that ends up being about 20 cents a packet which is a little bit more expensive than the rest of the others but it's also a product I'm probably not going to use that much of um, so I'll put links below all of these had either free shipping or were prime I don't have those notes so for all three of these uh, packets here twenty eight dollars and eighty seven cents that was shipped to the house and it's time to put together the kits. So I just wanted to share these packets with you guys. Um, I think they're great for kit building. 
I'm probably going to take a lot more out of the kits that I have already built and take out these tubes and replace them with packets so I have room for more bandages. Um, and that's my plan. I just wanted to do a quick video on this and share the, the uh, single use packets with you guys because I, I couldn't find them locally in my, uh, in my drug stores or pharmacies. One other thing I want you to take from this video guys, and maybe I'll go over this when I get, get it total, uh, totally completed. Oh, by the way, in case someone asked, the stickers. I got four of these stickers, $2.90 shipped to the house. Um, I don't know how big they are, two and a half by two and a half inches maybe. Um, and I've, you can make your own and make your own labels and print them in color, but these are a nice heavy duty vinyl. So I thought that was a good price. They shipped out of, I think, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, so they made it here to Maryland in, I don't know, four or five days. And uh, I thought that was a good price. I can put a link to this description below. There's also another one where you can spend about three bucks and get about, I don't know, 12 or 25 of these, but they're only like one inch by one inch, really small. I think they call them lab, laptop, uh, laptop stickers. Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, on the um, on the wound care stuff, uh, I, I'm not wound care, first aid stuff. I have a guy that have, has had about a dozen operations on my feet. Okay, and I've been in wound care uh, for months at a time. And I will tell you that simple supplies uh, like like gauze bandages. Okay, you can have a wound the size of a quarter or a little bit bigger than a quarter okay that's a, a wound that's infected and deep and the amount of supplies you will go through for that one little wound if you're doing wound changes two to three times a day in the morning when you wake up uh, sometimes in the middle of the day if it's totally soaked and definitely before you go to bed the amount of galls and the amount of um, adhesion pads uh, all different kinds of supplies that you will use. It is unbelievable how much tape you use, pads, bandages. Um, so if you think you have enough first aid supplies, double it. And I I'm telling you, um, I don't feel like I am nowhere nearly as prepped as I need to be on first aid, especially with the issues I have with my feet. Um, so it is just imperative that if you think you have a few boxes of band-aids and a few boxes of uh, alcohol wipes, uh, you are not prepared. If you have a serious type wound or infection, and if you're in a SHTF type situation where you can't get to a doctor and you have to treat that yourself, um, you know, antibiotics aside and all these other things that are a whole other issue, you need to keep that thing as clean as you can and that is multiple bandage changes you cannot leave wet um, wet bandages on there and expect that to heal so I just throw this out there guys I am not a first aid expert I'm not certified in anything here but I've been in wound care long enough to know when I get supplies shipped to the house for a little wound and a big box shows up and that box is full of bandages for that little wound it is amazing how much you go through. And even if you try to be, you know, somewhat reserved with your, your, uh, your first aid and your, ba and your bandages, it is unbelievable to me how much material and supplies you go through. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Guys, check out the links below in the video for the uh, single packets. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on this. I don't know if it's actually worth it and you know, go through a first aid kit. I think uh, there's enough videos out there on YouTube that people don't watch, right? This is just going to be another one of those videos. But if you take anything from this video, if you think you have enough first aid supplies, double it. That is what I want you to take from this video. Um, thanks, guys. And as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.